We have some week three football, everyone. Welcome to Arrowhead Field. At Arrowhead Stadium, actually. Sorry about that. As the 2 0 Cleveland Browns take on the 1 1 Kansas City Chiefs. The Browns, the first two seasons of the series, a combined record of 7 25. Absolutely awful. Went from three wins to four wins. And ever since they got Jim Harbaugh, I mean, they had two, uh, I think two wins with him last year in like four or five games. We have two wins with him this year. So the firing of Jerome Davis and the hiring of Jim Harbaugh has definitely helped this team. And this team has improved so much. Their first two games this season have been absolutely phenomenal. They beat up the Bengals in week two. And they beat up the Broncos in week one. One for Kansas City. As Smith over to the rookie Earl Zoe Slayton. First down Slayton! There goes Slayton! 66 yards is off for the races! Vernon Hargraves can't catch up in time! Touchdown Earl Zoe Slayton! And the Kansas City Chiefs his first career rushing touchdown, the 30th overall pick. And the Chiefs take the lead first. Now the 18 for the Cleveland Browns offense. This is the second year quarterback Moses Cody gets sacked right off the bat. By the very good pass rusher Justin Houston. Now the 38 for Kansas City. A pretty nice punt by the. I guess you could call him second year man Taylor Sams. He was on the practice squad the last year, so I don't really know what you can talk about him. As Slayton, the very next play by the Chiefs offense! There goes Slayton! And he gets another long touchdown, this time from 62 yards! Also Slayton! Man! Bad start for the Browns' run defense. Let me just say that right now. Very bad start. Very bad start for Cleveland in the passing game. Moses Cody is one for six with negative three yards. As Cody Johnson, what the heck? Anyway, he finds an open. Who is that? Levine Toyola, the backup tight end. David Johnson's new deal there. Of course, he got re-signed a few days ago. Very good re-signing for the Browns. Six years, so. They have David Johnson locked up. Now the 14 for Cleveland. As Cody. Immediately under pressure, he bubbles it! And it's picked up by Doug Terry Paul! Very bad start for the offensive line. Um, the Browns were about to score. They didn't score. 12 and 29, a very good first quarter for the Chiefs. Uh, very good on defense, no points allowed, and not much worse on offense. Because they have a rush offense. As Alex Smith, second and ten, two and a half minutes left in the quarter, looking for Garrett Sellers. Sellers jukes out a defender, gets past the 50 to the 47. For Cleveland to stop the Chiefs. The Chiefs, would well, you know what they could get? They could be up 17 nothing or even 21 nothing. A big third down. Are they still the Cleveland Chokers? What well, does it look like it's because Aaron Donald, he stopped them from getting a field goal. I don't know if they would have kicked it from there. But Aaron Donald, he's not used to choking since this is his first year on the team. Nice. This offensive line is starting with the last year's offensive line. Moses Cody's 2 for 10 and as many positive yard passing games as fumbled. So, yeah. There's immediately a Chiefs player that gets to him within once, literally two seconds. As, oh my gosh. They just, they're just pounding the ball. This just isn't even fun. <laughs> Like, honestly, we need a comeback. That's going to make this game fun. The Sprouts team is 2-0. They're playing like they're 0-2. As they didn't have two 3-0 willy-nilly wins, they have two convincing wins. As size team Youngblood! My goodness, he's an animal. 17, as you can tell, Moses Cody got sacked. And we need some luck. And Barry Davenport can't give us that luck! Barry Davenport! Barry is a beast! Two minutes left in the half. I did not even notice that. Okay. I mean, we don't need to have a nice little two minute drive because we're already on the 38. And we are doing a very solid job of driving down the field. It's Corey Coleman! I mean, the team's just leaving wide open. These teams are just silly idiots. Down the 12 4 Cleveland after Corey Coleman's big play. As Cody scrambling, looking for the defender! As it's Simon, oh no! He was on Moses Cody was under pressure, and see our offensive lineman just gave the Chiefs seven more points. It looks like we will need a nice little two-minute drive after all. Why I wanted to kick the 52-yard kick, 
The field goal is up and it is right down Main Street. And that's how your half ends. You score Cleveland Browns 3, Kansas City Chiefs 24. Very bad start for Cleveland, but hopefully they can come back in the second half. If the Chiefs could score 24 points in one half, then we can. We have a sick defensive line. And in two on the 44 for the Cleveland Browns as we are halfway. What? No! Halfway to the first minute. Oh my gosh, I am silly stupid. Anyway, Cody finds a wide open Barry Davenport. Davenport has the first trust in a fender! And making them, er, he gets shoved out of bounds at the 33. What a truck by Barry Davenport. As he is literally a truck. 10 on the 33 for. The Cleveland Browns is there in field goal range already. Cody hands it off to David Johnson. Johnson gets by the defender. I think it was Roy Parker. And he's in for the end zone. Johnson, who was very quiet his first two weeks, despite at the end of each game. As last week, he had over 100 yards. And the week before, he had 70. But most of those came in the fourth quarter. But he's been very good today. In turn of the 24-4. The Kansas City Chiefs, very good first half offensively for the Chiefs. As Alex Smith over to Arlzo Slayton. Slayton has blocks! There goes Arlzo Slayton! Can Tyron Matthew catch up? No, he doesn't! That's Slayton's third extremely long touchdown. He will win player of the week. This one, I think, was his longest 76 yards. Ten of the 33. Both teams are done next to job. Running the ball. Alex Smith has not been bad passing the ball at all. No picks. So, he's doing something right. Is David Johnson. Oh, he juked the offender. And he gains about 11. Ten of the 46. We're about two minutes into the first quarter. And the third quarter, sorry. And both teams added on seven to their scores. Cody, both on the run as well. Looking for a wide open Barry Davenport. No one was near him, and he makes it all the way to the 20. 18 of 29 for the Cleveland Browns. As Moses Cody, it's going to be a passing play, Cody. Under pressure, it's fumble, but it's picked up by Jack Conklin. I just decided to punt it, and I think they're regretting it. Um, probably should have taken the three. I know it was a 52 yard field goal, but it probably would have benefited them as Slayton. Oh, the pass! And it's intercepted by Manny Joseph. You know, if Carl Joseph, so I won't get a mistake. Who was out for pressure? I couldn't tell. I think it was either Carl and Aaron Donald. And a 9 over 29 for Cleveland. That pick was big. As the Browns are not out of this game. Cody looking for Flash Boye. And Lenvo Boye is in for the touchdown. And the Browns are back in this ball game, Linval Boye does it again. We have a 35 for the Browns as Cody looking for a wide open Corey Coleman who gains um 22. It's all Guayo. We don't let him kick another field goal here. Fourth and four. The Browns are going for it. Make or break play. As Cody's under pressure, looking for Cody! First down, Cleveland Brown, the game 16. Phew, that was Goal scary. on the six. Cody. Looking, but he gets six! By Alvin Bailey, or Alan Barry, Bailey, sorry about that. And it looks like the Browns, or the Chiefs will keep this a two point. No, I don't even know. It's going to say a two point game unless the Browns go for it, which they might. Goal on the 16, and it looks like the Browns. Are going to be taking the three, but wait, it's a fake! Kessler looking for Toyololo! Toyololo, sorry, and he does not get it! At least it was a misfield, and the ball's on the eight, so this isn't awful. This isn't what we wanted, but it's not I awful. I should have just kicked those two field goals, because then it'd be an eight point game, potentially a one possession game. As second and three, Alex Smith's going to pass it. He finds Jeremy Mack, late on the 43 4. The Cleveland Browns, or sorry, for the Kansas City Chiefs, about four minutes left in the game. The Chiefs have a nice little 14 point lead as Smith looking for the Honey Badger! The Badger, the Badger! The Badger, the Badger, the user, the user! And Cleveland's back in it! The Honey Badger's been quiet so far, and sorry about that. on the 18, as you can guess, Moses Cody got sacked. Uh, that's a oh my goodness gracious, that's John Simon. Who had the pick six earlier? 27. This is the game right here. 
It's if the Browns don't get it, the Chiefs win this game. It's unlikely the Browns get it. Fourth and eleven. Cody has time to actually bury no Exactly the holding penalty. I'm happy they did, because then it'd be third and ten. I'd rather be second to twenty, because I really trust our offense. I mean, today, while they're doing trash and Corey Coleman, we trust Corey! Coleman showboating! Making the defenders look like useless vendors! Buying some so oh wait, the vendors don't work, so I can't buy any soda. Touchdown Brown! Well an onside kick. This may not be their only onside kick today. As Roberto Aguayo on to kick it, and it's easily picked up by Anthony Sherman. 10 of the 37. This is going to be the last play of this game as Cody looking down the field for Flash, and it's intercepted by Philip Gaines, and that's how this game ends. Your final score Cleveland 24. Kansas City 34, the Chiefs go up to 2 1. The Browns get their first loss of the year, dropping to 2 1 as well.